Hello po! So, who is ready to check out a performance by a Filipina in Italy, in Milan to be more specific? And I hear that Milan is one of the most expensive cities in Italy. So, the title reads, Pinai Mini Concert Duomo Milan Italy. Before we start though, Maligayang pagbabalik sa akin channel. Ako po si Ovela. I'm a sound engineer, beat maker, and content creator on YouTube. I do wonder if this is going to have the same effect as when Yumi Kapile performed in South Korea. Yeah, because she definitely shocked South Korea with her beautiful, gorgeous, and powerful belting voice. Now, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Shallow, shallow, la la la. Mm, it's well filmed. Ah, okay, so this is not recent because I see people with uh, masks, you know, so this was probably during the pandemic. Look at the beautiful architecture behind. Look at them, they're dancing. <laughs> wow, people are dancing. And this is an acoustic performance of, uh, of this song and probably other songs. And it actually does not feel like it, you know? Like I noticed it later on because it really felt powerful just with her voice already. Who is this woman? Man. I really like the video quality. Mm, yeah, you go girl. That was really good. Yes. Hallelujah. Okay, wow. Is, was this recorded? Wait, wait, wait. I want to see if she's wearing the same outfit or not. Oh, yeah. Same, same outfit. Okay. So, it was recorded the same day. It's a beautiful song as well. It just feels so peaceful. Mm. I feel good. Mm. You know, this is so funny because right before, like before this video, I reacted to 
a video that infuriated me and it has been a long time since I got really uncomfortable and upset while reacting to a video and you will watch that video before this one so you will understand where I'm coming from but so basically I just reacted to a video that said the top 10 countries where Filipinos are not welcome in 2024 and they left the number one country as Italy and here we have a, a Filipina singing, you know, in public, in the streets, you know, where people are so happy. And she seems very comfortable to me. And she looks like she's very welcomed, you know. Like, basically what I'm trying to say is that that video that I reacted to is just complete and utter nonsense. Oh, mm. She died to her kitchen chair. She broke your throat. Preach. And you know what? I would not be surprised if you told me that this woman is just a complete random Filipina. Because yes. Filipinos have just regular Filipinos who can sing like this, like professional singers. It's insane. <laughs> yeah. So cute to see a kid. Give them some change. Yeah. I got in the man. That was good. Ah, she made me feel so good inside, you know? My heart will go on. All right. This is a legit concert. You know, I used to really like this song, but because it got overplayed for so many years, I just can't, I, I don't enjoy it as much as I used to, you know? Because Titanic, the movie, was such a massive hit that this song was everywhere. It got overplayed, man. I'm the king of the world! <laughs> I'm sorry, I am laughing because all of a sudden I had the voice of Marcelito Pomoy when he performed this exact same song at his concert in Montreal and he was singing with a higher pitched voice, which is crazy because that guy, he's a man, she's a woman, and yet his voice sounded higher. Sheesh. <laughs> Speaking of Celine Dion, uh, Amazon Prime keeps promoting her documentary. Maybe I should watch it, right? Because it's Celine Dion, you know, and apparently she went through a rough patch. So mm, that that 
trailer is making me curious. It, it really transformed into a concert. Look at all the people watching. I mean, it's completely understandable to see people actually giving, giving them some uh, some change, you know, because don't you feel like this is a concert that you would actually pay to watch a little bit, you know? Like, is that good? We're not done yet! Ouch. That was rough. She struggled a little bit. this one during the meet and greet you know that was awesome yeah she can handle this song because she has a deep voice I just noticed that they are singing in front of an H&M store right there. <laughs> okay. I love it, she takes it very seriously. Yeah. 
I wonder if in Italy you can just decide to sing publicly like this and you would not get in trouble. And I say this because in the video where Yumi Kapile performed in public in South Korea, uh, you can see that they were bothered by the cops, you know, because I feel like that's not something you can just do. You have to actually probably get a, a permit. Oh yes, rolling in the rolling in the deep. Let's go. How how awesome would it be to just see KZ Tandingan pop out of nowhere to join her for a duet of Rolling in the Deep? How amazing would that be? And I say this because you know, in the Philippines, when it comes to rolling in the deep, I think we all think about KZ and her performance uh, in the Wish Bus, but also on that Chinese vocal show, The Singer. How cool would it be if she starts rapping like KZ in Tagalog? And I say this because KZ made the song her own. Like she changed it up completely. She started singing at the beginning with the tune and everything. And in the middle, she starts rapping and in Tagalog, you know? So yeah, her version is awesome. I feel like this one is faster. Come on, rap, rap, rap. See, just from this video, I can tell that the architecture in uh, in Milan, so Italy, is just beautiful. That is one of the reasons why I really want to visit Italy, just for the beautiful architecture. And by the way, shout out to the guitarist too, huh? You know, he's been playing the guitar this entire time, man, and keeping up with her. Or should I say she was keeping up with him because I feel like he's like the, the base of the whole performance, right? Yeah. He's doing a good job too. Played it, you played it, you played it, you played 
Angale. That was really good. Really, really good. Oh, it's not done. I will always love you. So I'm gone, but I know. Ah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know why that song, you know, was cut? Do you know why it was edited out? Come on, it's pretty easy. Because of copyright, yes. <laughs> this is so funny, man. Every YouTuber out there, every content creator out there struggles with copyrights. That's why Every time you see like a strange cut, you know, in a video, you should realize that it's because of copyrights. Because, yo, if we're uploading on YouTube, we want to our video to be monetized. So it, it makes sense. Although I would have liked to hear her version of I Will Always Love You, her cover. This was nice. This was very nice, man. It made me feel good. It was lovely. She sang so well and she sang for probably okay so they cut the last song so she probably sang for like 20 minutes straight you know and she probably took some breaks in between so maybe 30 minutes straight you know that's not easy that's why it's called a concert of a penai and i think the one that made me feel really good honestly it was hallelujah uh tell me in the comment section below your thoughts on this and of course if you found value in this video do not hesitate to check out my other reaction videos right here